Here, I also want to take an example of China, which had a one-child coercive policy, which clearly had to be abandoned by the Chinese government because it did not work. Apart from the anger in the community, there was also this huge issue where sex ratios declined dramatically, creating a very adverse environment where they had very few girls compared to boys and they were importing wives for their men from other countries. In India, we've seen similar consequences in many states where sex selection is practiced and adverse sex ratios exist. In fact, in a country where there is sun preference, this is to be expected as happened in China. But in India, the situation is much worse because we not only have sun preference, but we have very little value for girl child for a variety of unacceptable reasons she's seen as an economic burden or the fear of sexual abuse of a girl or many many other reasons which uh, have very very strong consequences if we were to then have a two child or any form of coercion or disincentives in any case disincentives further put the burden on a woman who doesn't have the agency to decide how many children and when she will have children. She doesn't even decide when she will get married. So in a situation like this, to further violate the rights of women by putting disincentives like she won't be able to stand for elections or have a job is totally unfair, not only a violation.